All right, let's continue Yoshi's Island. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. I would say, I hope you've been enjoying, but there's been issues with the VODs for the series, and yeah, I re-uploaded most of them, so they should all be back up, but long story short, uh, the 4K stuff was having problems, so that should all be resolved, and I'm testing a new way to record it, and hopefully there won't be any issues, so yeah, thanks for putting up with that. Okay. Uh, I'm sighing because I know what I have to do. Also, hello, Sherry. Merry Christmas, if you celebrate that. Assuming it's still Christmas. I think in Europe it's, like, not anymore, but I can't remember. <laughs> Too early in the morning. Okay. I got a Coke. Hmm. Hold on. I need to get lives. It's 5.42, okay. Did you get up too much today? Alright, well... I'll find out which one of these bonus levels is, like, easy to get lives off. This is item chance, so not this. But the first part of the stream is going to open with me just, uh... Getting lives, because <laughs> I'm going to need them. If you missed... What the stage... Ah, uh, it's just... The whole time I was playing this game, I, I was waiting for that stage to appear. And even when I couldn't finish it, I had dreams about it. The same night. You had to pick up the phone that you left at your sister's last night. Hopefully it wasn't too far of a drive. The longest I've had to go pick up something that I left was an hour and a half, which was not fun. I think roulette's the quickest way to make money in this, but... This one had a life, so I figured I'd play it. Assuming roulette's even unlocked. Drawing lots. Okay, well. This one I suck at. I have not won this one once in this playthrough. Not once! <laughs> what, like, what are the odds of me picking that practically every time? No, this is match cards. Oh, if I don't have roulette, this is gonna suck. Um... There is a stage... I don't remember what stage it is, though. That's the problem. But there is a stage where you can get lives pretty easily. I'm just gonna, like, lose on purpose. I wasn't paying attention, anyway. Please tell me this is roulette. Okay, it is. I'm going all in. <laughs> cool. I got nothing. <laughs> It's just evened out. Gee. I'm gonna have to gamble a lot. This is not fair. 
<laughs> really? Good God. Okay, hang on. While I'm doing the roulette, I'm gonna try and find... What stage it was where I was... It's easy to earn lives. Um, I just have to look at my old VODs, but I can do that in the background whilst this is going. Um... I went with one this time, because it just hasn't been good. It's just, if I don't do this, I'm gonna just keep getting game overs, and that's not gonna be fun to watch. Unless I somehow miraculously get... Oh, there it is. Okay, what stage is this? I'm finding out. It's a red Yoshi. It is... World 4 Red Yoshi. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go do that instead. The stage? Or is it this stage? I think it's this stage, because this mistakenly says pink, but it should be Red Yoshi. Yeah, okay. But don't worry about that. Just a few minutes in the stage and, yeah, that should be enough lives. Oh! Okay. I'm fine. I'm not fine. So this is the part. So where you set this up. I gotta be careful about this. Not lose the shell. careful. Okay, here we are. We're gonna be here a while. There we go. It shouldn't take long to amass some lives, I just don't want to keep having to deal with the game over. Oh, this is much better. I had to think I was going to play roulette. Gambling doesn't pay off, kids. The house always wins, whatever they say. Go, uh, take out some ghosts or something. I'm gonna laugh if, after all this, I get it first try. Easy. 
easy, Mario. It's weird that this game has a save feature, but it doesn't save your lives. Donkey Kong does the same thing. Hope that doesn't reset it. That's nah, fine. Oh, I'm not- I'm not even kidding. I'm going to 99. Oh, crap. <laughs> Just... I don't want to deal with the game over, that's all. Nearly done. Then it's just, well, attempt the horrible level. Uh oh. Nope. Come back. You just started playing this game recently for the first time. How's it going? play fire levels it really is unique yeah I love this game Mario like Mario Wonder just made me think of this game because it's that same thing it's just Mario Wonder has so much unique and weird things and it was the same with this Even though they're different games, it's just that feeling I had as a kid came back when I played Wanda. Uh-oh. No. Oh, it's gone. Alright, you know what? Oh, it's 99. Alright, cool. Okay. Let's deal with this level. I only have nostalgia for it, so I don't feel like it's as good as everyone says. We understand people like for nostalgia, the outside, style, everything's cute as unique. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I think some of the wow factor leaves because, you know, it's an old, older game. Oh, well, that's alright. stage, man. I'm not dying. I, I need every life. Let's see who are the people. <laughs> You're not the only one. I'm definitely that person. This game is... No, it... Oh, I hate this stage. <laughs> this stage is Christmas for me. Hey, Colin, how's it going? How's Christmas? I'm playing horribly. I 
need to get reacclimated to the stage, that's all. Ugh. Maybe I should use items. Just so it stops shooting at me. Get out of here. For it, just wait for it, just wait for it. That's part of it. <laughs> oh, you have to go to Urgent Care because the sun has the flu. Ugh, that sucks. Alright. Welcome to hell. I hate this stage so much. Well, I have to die every time. I need to figure out how to get that, like, the jump to do to get that flower. It's so evil. This is why I got 99 lives, like, it's, it's gonna take that long. I could try to slow down, but that stoop- oh, that boulder is, like, in a perfect spot to screw you over either way. It's like, you need to slow down enough, or if you jump- even if you jump over it, it catches up to you if you try to slow down and pushes you forward. It's hard to jump over. If you manage to jump over it, you still have to do like a really specific jump, otherwise you won't get this. And even if you get the flower, there's still so much to go through. The last part is a helicopter part where if you don't do it quick enough, you just die. And then you come back to here. Try jumping over it. Once I figure it out, then everything will be fine. Hopefully. It wouldn't be Christmas if someone was sick. That's true. I'm fine. Oh. What? Uh, this is... There we go, there we go, there we go. Crap, I forgot. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is not fair. How's my day? Uh, I mean, it's only 11 in the morning. Not really much of a day yet. I woke up. Bare minimum has been achieved. Oh crap, I double jumped.
But I'll probably go to the shops later. Just to get some groceries. Okay, 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 we're in business, we're in business. Oh, I hate this. Okay. Fancy cheese for New Year's. <laughs> this part, I have to, I have to do this, otherwise I'm gonna lose. They're gonna keep knocking me up like the assholes they are. For the bottom one first. Or is it? Or is it? Or is it? Shit, I lose. I love how it doesn't give you any recourse. It doesn't even let you flutter jump to get to the cloud and try and get it that way. It's that cruel. I got the hang of it. Bond. Ah. <laughs> uh. But I've gotten it consistently three times now, so that's something. I mean, I haven't seen how the weather's going to be for New Year's yet. But, uh, yeah, it's just probably going to do the fireworks thing and then I'll come home. Most likely just stream something, just chill. That was dumb. And yeah, it could have worked out if I didn't panic. I'm trying to get through the games I have. I need to make an effort to finish Yakuza. But then it's like, well, clean slate. All the games were wrapped up. I hate this stage so much. <laughs> I'm gonna spend longer on this stage than it'll take to finish the entirety of the final world. Like, that's just how annoying the stage is. Done. I thought it was going to continue. I do it last time, like, the times that I got it right, I got hit by Kamek on purpose. And then I just rolled over the rock. I'm trying to, like, replicate it. So what did everyone get for Christmas, present-wise, if anything? Oh! Okay, we're in business. Thank you. 
Okay. Now I just need to do this correctly. Oh no, this, these, these assholes are dying. Oh, I don't have any. Stop pushing me! Okay, where is it? Where is it? There's the lower helicopter. Okay. Central helicopter. Alright, go. This is like a race against time. You gotta go quick. could have had it. A fancy toaster, a speaker, clothes, and a tattoo. You got a tattoo? What'd you get? A pressure cooker. Ooh, that's a nice one. If I had more space, I would love a pressure cooker. One day. Got cherry blossoms on your shoulder. Oh, that's neat. I'm too much of a wuss to get one, but I appreciate them. <laughs> Come on. I don't even know. Damn it. It's one of the things that I'd have to think long and hard about. Somewhere on the arm, I think. Maybe like forearm. Wouldn't be one of those ones that I'd want to hide. It's just like there. Get one, yeah, but like, I'm a wuss, but also I, I would need to think. And those two things just, I'm, I'm fine. The wuss part is just the part that keeps me from getting. It's like I don't like the the needle idea, you know, and also just how red the skin gets and people bleed. Or if it's like, the irrational fear, if it's too painful and I move, <laughs> then it just messes it up and it's just like, well, well what if I get it and it just, because here's the thing, I'm picky about artwork, and if the artwork is something that I don't like, it's going to bother me immensely. I know I'm, I'm making up so many excuses, but like, if it was something that was so pretty easy to undo, it wouldn't be so bad, but it's like, well...
Anyway. I'm fine living vicariously through others. Tattoo you got, you had designed by an artist, okay. I'd have to really think about it. <laughs> It'd have to be something that meant a lot to me, and I guess it's like... ...representative of me. I am not making progress! Be the one. Sorry, I'm ruining like a good moment. People talking about like heartfelt tattoos they're getting and dedication of someone beloved, and here I am screaming like an idiot. It's just, I don't know what it is with either games that I played as a kid or just platformers, they just bring this out in me. Like, I feel like it's the worst thing in the world when I mess up. Because I, I just, I feel like I should, I should be able to do better. I'm better. I'm better than- I'm better than this. I bought the damn Crash Bandicoot trilogy, <laughs> so it's on sale. They had a combo pack that had the Spyro trilogy as well, and Crash 4, so I was like, alright, fine. I do need to get to the other Spyro games. And the PC versions are 4K, so... 4K 60fps, which, yep. We want that. We want that as the, the standard now. Oh my god. Okay, this, this actually went well. This actually went well. Leave that one, we need to leave that one. Stop pushing me up! I hate- I hate everything about this stage. Okay. Calm down. As long as I don't bump into a penguin. Four out of five. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Get me out of here. Ugh. Oh, Alright. We're done. Thank you. <laughs> Stage's over. <laughs> Hope I have fun with it. Well, it won't be any time soon. There's other stuff to play. Ok. 
come on, you were around the first time I played it. You know how it went. Like, I feel like when, in my entirety of the years that I've been streaming, there have only been two times where I have felt really angry that it hurt. <laughs> like, one of them was during Crash Bandicoot, so. Might be able to finish this today now. I don't remember what the final special stage is. Like, I feel like the toughest part is done now. I mean, look at, look at the artwork in this game. Oh crap. I sh probably shouldn't have done that. And that's fine. Let me just go ahead. Okay. I mean, this is mainly for safety, not really required. It's so funny how just a stage that made you suffer as a kid, you just have so much vivid memories of it. The majority of my memories of this game come from just a few stages. The the fuzzy stage. I mean, the music is, is a memory, but it's not like a visual memory. The final fight. The final fight is really good. It is damn impressive for, for its time. But yeah, the ski level. Just, man. Oh boy. Okay. Then everything else is just fragments. Got greedy and then I fucking died. No, get back here. I would have done that first try every time as a kid. and made that mistake either. I thought I was sorry. Ugh. 
Stop. Also, apparently microwave with dials are seen as fancy. I don't, I don't know how that's a thing. Because the not there's not many of them. What? Oh, because it did its attack. Shot time. It's kind of hard to do a skill shot when you're being harassed. There we go. I don't know if I remember this correctly, but like, I remember skipping most of the stage just by jumping on these dudes, but I, I don't want to stress test it. Oh. Mistakes were made. Well, there's no way to do that now. Not that it matters, it's just a bonus stage. It doesn't really do anything. on the control. do so many levels in the time it took me to do that one ski level. Yeah, so they messed up the maps in these games because the pink and red Yoshis should be swapped. Because this is a pink Yoshi stage, but it's red. Then pink Yoshi should be yeah, so it's like It should be the other way around, because this is a pink Yoshi stage, but red Yoshi's on the map. I mean, they released the game. Not like they could patch it. Although, to be fair, sometimes they did patch games. <laughs> they did release revision cartridges. You just wouldn't know. They'd still sell the same game, it wouldn't be like... Yoshi's Island version 2. That's my coin. I mean, this stage is basically the floor is lava. 
Oh, you dick. Actually got through. Get out of here. I didn't think he would jump across. Oh, well. Can't get that. if I can eat this rat. It doesn't matter. <sighs> That's what I was trying to avoid. Probably my last chance. I can't imagine it's gonna give me health. Oh, ah! Health refills. Oh, what? Wow, this sucks. I may have to use one of my items. I can't remember if there was anything this way. I don't think there is. Alright, go back. Give it a minute. It's lenient. Oh. Okay. Nice. I was never good at this one. No. Wah, wah. Beware the spinning logs. Oh, 
the fact that it's giving me this much already. Oh, they don't turn into eggs. So that's the thing, Yoshi eats things that don't turn into eggs, like... How does that work? Is it not enough to form a whole egg, or is it just like... One of them isn't digested at all? Or is it like celery, where it just doesn't really have anything? Like, it's like negative calories. I know how this... I know how this is supposed to work. I'm supposed to shoot them with eggs. Okay, I'm fine. I'm just waited out here. <laughs> I can't die here. Ride the wave. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. We've got five of them. I don't know if I ever found this as a kid. Heck, no, okay, this, this seems familiar. If it's three rooms, then I know what this is. Yeah, you have to pick the right door. The downside of it is I miss stuff. Okay, do it again. Wait, what? Oh, God, oh, no, there we go. That was weird. Okay, left. Right. Imagine this right again. I'm doing this because I don't remember if there's something important behind this. Okay. And then most likely left. Fine. That was most likely it. Oh, no, I'm wrong. Now this is it. I mean, I guess that's nice. It will completely get me to 30. stage. <laughs> so stressful. 
everything in this world is just over an abyss. Quick enough. Okay, well. I gotta do all this again. I don't think I need to go to the bonus thing. That's fine. <laughs> Good! I wonder if I can... I was gonna say use an item to get rid of it, but I don't think I can. Out of here. Close my eyes. Did I win? Not even close. Okay. Tap tap the red nose, reindeer. Well, it's not a reindeer. Whatever it is. Um, spiky dude. I told you this is a Christmas game. I just have to be resourceful, like that. Uh-oh. Well, let's just hope that was nothing important and just stars. going for. Thank you. 
I love how just effectively you got to fight this thing again. But there was a whole castle for that boss, and now it's just relegated to just. Wait, where'd it go? Just a random encounter. I don't remember if there was anything secret here. I don't think there was. pipes. This was cool. It's like a little bit of a maze. Oops. Oh well. It still works. Still works. Still works. Because I said maze. <laughs> I've heard that pun a lot. Because one of my favorite shows growing up was a game show that was called Amazing. And that's what the whole premise was just, yeah. Game show for kids, and they had to run a maze at the end. Where they could win a Game Boy. I generally don't remember where to go. Okay, the double arrow I think means the actual exit, so let's just not go there. I still think about that one episode from time to time, just of that girl that didn't get to run the maze because the person she was partnered with just was greedy, <laughs> just didn't give her a turn and they only found two keys and yeah. I would think about that. I would have been like, I would have found the damn Game Boy key. But at that point, what can you do? It's like... They probably didn't have enough budget to just stop the show and go, Hey, you need to give her a turn and have a do-over. <laughs> Not on 30, so let's just get back up to 30. Oh, all right, never mind. Leave it. 
I don't want to waste my last egg. I'm sure it'll have one more checkpoint. I can't remember if these middle ones are important. for now, leave it. If it was important, I'll just go to the end. Oh. Okay, well. Hey, Star, how's it going? How's your day so far? I think that's it, right? Yeah, alright, I'm going down. Out of the double arrow pipe. Doing okay. Good to hear. I'm doing alright as well. Just chilling. Trying to finish this game. Up the oh, then where is it? That's an exit. Hang on, I'm lost now. <laughs> on the hard stage in the game, so I think I can be calm about this now. Oh, that's the pipe I was looking for. Is this really this thing again? Okay. <laughs> But there's no egg refill, so I guess I just gotta... Hold on, what if... Does this work? Okay, this works. You always forget, does Australia celebrate Christmas? No, we don't. We have this holiday where we take an offering to this thing called the Bunyip. It lives in the swamp. So you need to take a, a lamb on Christmas Eve, otherwise you have to sacrifice your firstborn child on Christmas Day. So there's always a queue. I try to get there early, but sometimes it just doesn't work out. Again, just how nice does this look for a Super Nintendo game? It's like drop bears, yeah. Sure. Well, the reason I was able to say it so casually is because the Bunyip is a real creature. Well, a real myth that they try to scare tourists with, particularly Americans. So. There was some truth to what I was saying in the sense of, like, the urban legend of the Bunyip. The rest of it, that's just wing it. Had lamb over Christmas, so I said lamb. Well, this is some shit. Is this even something I can... Well, I guess I have a red egg. I might still be able to do this chat. Oh, your, your game ends here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Forgot to read it.
Okay, that's fine. Ah. Oh, hold on. Um. Okay, this is the good thing about this fight is it's kind of solid. <laughs> Except for the part where you actually kill him. No, I have to die. Also, it's good that you can just die, though. Like, it's fine. I love how just I actually set that up correctly. But yeah, I, I gotta, I gotta hit him with the red egg, get my health back, and then do repeat what I did. I had a first try. Good, good aim. Uh, please tell me that wasn't- well, it doesn't matter. Gotta be careful. <laughs> Oh, there was health there the whole time. It doesn't matter. It's over for you. Whoa, what? How'd you get up there? What? What? I've never seen him jump up there before. Can he even get down? No, there he is. All right, we're fine. Okay. <laughs> I think I must have... One of my eggs must have launched them up or something. I don't know. Fine. You're watching Pacific Room and one of the characters called himself Bunyip Man. Oh. Well, yeah. I mean... There's different versions of it, but it's just this thing that lives in a river, that's all. And just hunts people on boats. The artwork for it is really weird. Elementary school, they would take you on this, um... Well, it was like this thing where you would follow a river from the mountains down all to the beach. Well, that sucked. Um... And yeah, part of that, there was like a boat part, and they would tell the story of it. Because it's, uh... It's not like it's something made by Australians, it's like an, an indigenous story. Whereas in the drop bear, that's just Australians fucking with tourists. It's just it's part of our national duty to do that. There was that year where there were those horrible fires and it was reported around the world and I remember this it was a TV sh uh, station from Europe I can't remember where but like the point was they interviewed this Australian firefighter talking about you know the horrors and the dude was just dead serious right and then all of a sudden this like thing fall f falls from the trees You know, they they faked it so it looked like a drop bear was attacking them. And then all the firefighters laughed. 
the hell? There we go. The, the literal hell on earth, fighting fires for like... Just hours on end. They look so tired and they still just stuck to the bit. Gotta pay attention now. This, if I don't look at what I'm doing, the map's gonna split up and I'm gonna miss a red coin. I never liked this stage. I, I remember the stage. <laughs> Again. There's two stages <laughs> that come to mind. This one and the skiing stage. This one was more just because it's an auto-scroller and it just moves so slow. The skiing one was just suffering. Christmas, if that's a thing I celebrate. Yeah, it was two days ago. Um, we do it on the 24th, typically. It's like, a uh, dinner, and then you open presents at midnight. And then the 25th, we don't really do anything. Kind of like it that way, I just... Oh, get it again! It There's no salvaging it, it's just like, if you miss it... Oh... I may, I may have, I may have done it. I may have hit it. New Aussies were weird. It's not an Aussie thing. It's um, a Latino thing. Like my heritage is Central American. Australians celebrated on the twenty fifth. It's also pretty common in Europe as well. So really, when you think about the number of countries that celebrated on the 24th, and if you take the whole world into, like, take the rest of the world into account, I think we all know who the weird ones are. doesn't cross over into Puerto Rican American, really? That's surprising. Yeah, I don't know what it is. But let's see. At our Christmas, we have Peruvian, Colombian, who else? I'm trying to think. Oh, like, for a while there were, like, some Chilean people as well. Chilean. But that's not a thing anymore. Just, they're not dating anymore, <laughs> so... I know it's definitely a case for, like, a lot of Europe, with the exception of the British. Ah! Ha 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 ha! Oh yeah, and of course, like, Salvadorian, which is like what the rest of us are. I forgot to point that one out. If you want to, like, make fun of how weird Australia is, all you have to do is just... The fact that our, su our summer is a thing that's, like, 
a pretty not normal Christmas in that regard, just because it's summer here. I keep miss- <sighs> Okay, I need a pet. I'm- I'm not looking at chat for like the next- <laughs> I keep missing the stupid fork in the right. Because it's not obvious. I'm not looking at chat. I need to focus on this. The caffeine hasn't kicked in from this morning. I don't want to die too much on the stage. My inner child is not happy that, uh, like, I've had to die this many times. part is like, it does that, that forces you to make a choice, it's like, oh, do you want the stars? <laughs> or, thank you, um, the stars or do you want the coin? Okay, now I can continue as normal, at least for the time being. Hey, Malus. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Okay. I thought I messed that up. What was the question? Oh, no, no, no. That was no real question. Unless you're talking about does Australia even celebrate Christmas. It's just like, I get it. It's an attempt. That's the thing about us Aussies. We're, like, pretty difficult to annoy. Most of us just like clap back verbally. Um, uh, what? Oh, my God, <laughs> I was stuck for a sec. Um, I was just saying. At that part, there's, there's a junction, and the game is just asking you, do you want to get stars, or do you want to get, um... Oh, I see. Now I know why you're asking. Because I said star. Ah, uh, ha, ha, ha. I meant, I meant, I meant stars. I meant stars, as in... Um, what do you call it? The game health thing. Don't know how Australia works. Oh no. It's just, with text, it's hard to tell. And also, it's a pretty frequent thing. It's just like. Aussies get a lot of people that like say, so how about those spiders? Or do you guys even do this in Australia? Like, because we're on the opposite ends of the earth. Sometimes it's a serious question, and sometimes it's like a poking fun thing. So it's just. Text alone is kind of hard to tell what it is. Generally speaking, Australia is like, more or less. We do what the British do, more or less, in terms of holidays. It's no different than Canada, I guess. It's like, pretty similar in that respect. Like, the British have Boxing Day, so we have Boxing Day. 
Even though it's not really something that... Aside from the sales, it's like nothing really here. It's a public holiday, but ugh, I don't know. It doesn't need to be. It's just a leftover remnant because we're a, uh... Yeah. What do you call it? I've, I've, I'm bad with words today. British colony. You're guilty of the spider thing. The spider thing is the most common one, though. But... It's because the media, like, makes you think Australia's a dangerous place, and... I've said it before, all it is is just... You think of the most dangerous thing you can come across wherever you live, it's like... You're more likely to come across that. Um... Because the thing with America is, like, you know, you guys live everywhere in America, you know? Like, the majority of the country is populated by people. Even though it's... There might be areas where there's not big populations. The point is, on a map of where there's people, yeah, it fills in the country. Whereas in here, it's pretty much the coastlines that have all the people. And then Central Australia and Northern and all that stuff... Um, that's where all the dangerous shit is, and it's not really populated by people. But that's the majority of Australia, if that makes sense. It's like, the majority of Australia does tend to have dangerous stuff as a, as a, like, continent. But where people live, it doesn't. If, I hope I'm making sense there. Like, we live where it's safe. And then the rest of the country is like, well, you're going to have to be in the middle of nowhere where there's not many people who experience the things you see on TV. The giant spiders, the crocodiles, the sharks. So it's no different to just where you live, where it's like, well, if you want to come across something dangerous, it's like you have to go out of your way to find it. Snakes, yeah, snakes as well. So. But, you know, as an Australian, it's our job to scare tourists, so we'll tell you otherwise. We'll just say, yeah, I just went outside and had to fight a snake so then I could hunt my kangaroo for dinner. Don't, <laughs> don't take anything by, like, what I'm saying. I'm not trying to, like, um, you know, make fun of people for not knowing. Or I'm not frustrated in the slightest. I just missed a coin again. If I could describe Australia as like, you know, we have... We're no different than other countries, however, like most countries, we have our areas that are basically like Florida. So, that's it. Every country has their version of Florida chat. Just don't judge the rest of the country by that, that's all. Yeah, this level, I, I really don't like this level. Do we have a Bible Belt? Uh, kind of, like... As a whole, Australia's pretty secular. Because we're very multicultural, it's like... Yeah. I would say we have parts of Australia that are like that, but it's just... It's nowhere near to the level of other countries, let's put it that way. What's a Bible Belt? It's just a series of towns, states, whatever you might call it, that are, like, heavily religious and, um, just have those views, you know? Where if your views aren't like our views, then fuck the rest of you. Not in those words, but that's how it feels. Mm -hmm. 
that, like, the Bible Belt will be, like, uh, the places that come up with stuff like, oh, Pokemon is satanic. And they'll just make, like, these weird-ass connections, like, oh, see, there's a star on this design. And if you overlay this, invert it, turn it 90 degrees clockwise, draw this line here that connects to here, and then spin around in a circle three times and squint, that's a pentagram. Like, that's the kind of stuff they come up with. Um... I mean, I have parts of my family that are pretty religious, so, like... <laughs> there are times where I forget that, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. Like, my grand- my grandma, okay. Like, she's very, very old school. In that regard. I hope I didn't make a mistake. I may have made a mistake. I made a mistake. But my uncle went to Thailand. And he brought back a, um... A statue with him. It's like a, a dragon statue. It looked pretty cool. And my grandma flipped her shit, like, just kept saying that... Um, he had brought the devil into her home. <laughs> He got hit with a broom. A perfectly nice statue, but you know, that's the sort of stuff that I've seen. And uh, I'm not like that, like... You know... I didn't... Though I was exposed to that environment as a kid, um... My dad... Gave us the choice, basically. Which I'm thankful for, so... I think to be able to integrate properly into the school that we went and just... ...modern Australia in general, probably best that we weren't in that environment. So that's one thing, yeah, I really give them credit for, it's just... I've seen some of my relatives be in that world and it's just... Uh, not to go into it too much, it's just... I don't get it. <laughs> it's not for me. And there's not a comment on the belief thing, it's more a comment on the... the social aspect of it, like... The last time I went to church... I had a conversation with my dad, and after that conversation, that was the last time I ever went. I think I was like eight years old, but... It was... Just as disconnect. You know. He never liked going. He's religious, right? Like, he's spiritual. But he just doesn't like the idea of church. So, you know. And his reasoning is basically what I kind of questioned at the time. It's so... Uh, you know, he asked me, do you want to keep coming? I said, no. He asked why. And I said, well, we spend, like, what? And I'm making this more adult, like, sounding more adult, but, you know, eight-year-old self would have said something like a child. But it was along the lines of, like, well, we come to this building every week, this dude tells us to be good, and then the adults immediately outside, they're just saying bad stuff about one another. They're basically gossiping and just talking crap. And then they come back next week, the guy says be good again, and then they just keep doing it. And after that, just didn't go back, so... You know, you can be spiritual and believe in that stuff. It's fine. I'm not gonna question that. It's more just the aspect of, like... You need to go to a building every week to prove that you're a good person. I don't know, man. That just doesn't sit right with me. Like, someone could be the worst person in the world, and just because they go to a room for an hour each week, they're... it's suddenly fine. Anyway, sorry, like, to go on that topic. I know it's not the greatest topic, but... 
I talk about that stuff, it's just like, that's just being honest with who I am, so you know what I'm about. And this level is just driving me crazy, it really is. So talking about something like that, that's I guess deep and personal and... It's just, at least it's taking away from the sting of this stupid level! You just have to wait. Oh man, it's just driving me crazy. If this was a normal level, this would have been over so much by now. It's just the fact that you have to wait. You do homebrew? Oh, me too. Ugh. I need to get rid of that. One thing that's become a major thing lately is just, um, there's been a bunch of new games released for all the consoles, and some of them are pretty neat. Like, it's kind of become a thing thanks to these consoles you can buy that lets you play older games, and you can hook them up to a modern TV. Kind of like what I'm doing now, actually. <laughs> it's just... It's also people that have now made games where they're designed for an older console, but then they still release it on PC just by putting it in an emulator, so. But there's some pretty neat stuff out there. Um, I wanted to check this out, but I don't think I will. Maybe just wait a while, but like... Um, some dude did a PC port of Link's Awakening, and it's like, in HD graphics, really nice looking. Um, it has a bunch of features that the original didn't. I'm just gonna use the, the star thing at the end. Um, yeah, really cool, like... Probably a really good way to play it. It has its issues, but, you know, it's impressive how it works. And, uh, well, you know, Nintendo took it down, more or less, and I get the feeling that they'll probably take down videos later on YouTube. So, probably wait a while. I managed to download it, thankfully, before they took it down. Yeah, it ran in some engine, and it looked cool, like you could zoom out and see the whole map. Like, some of it was a tech demo, but it's a fully functional game. So it did look really nice. I did download it, thankfully. I had the foresight to do it, because... You just never know. It's weird because there's a definitive version of Zelda 2, which is a PC port. And that is excellent, and that hasn't been taken down. That's been up for, like, over a year. Um, that's the way to play Zelda 2, that version of it. Oh yeah, get rid of this, because otherwise I can't. Oh my god. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Oi, oi, oi. I think what would have made this stage more bearable if it had more checkpoints. Just... At this point, have a checkpoint, you know? Oh, 
Good old Ibru. Prim uh, lately it's primarily been Game Boy stuff. I don't know, there's something about Game Boy games. I just, I just have this charm to them. Because I got the analog pocket, it's really, really good, that device. And it's integrated with Game Boy Studio, and you can even produce music on the thing, if you want it to. Oh, thank you. Jeez. Alright, that's a checkpoint. I mean, I've also gotten some new NES games, so there's stuff that I want to check out. Like, I want to get into making more content on YouTube, and one of the things I want to take is just, like, checking out some of these homebrew games. I'm just going, well, you know. Just because a console's discontinued doesn't mean you can't get new games for it still. People could still realistically make games for those retro consoles. Because that's the thing, now we've gone past the point where... For the longest time it was... Every new game needed to be, like, as super realistic as possible. It needed to really push the barrier with 3D graphics. We're past that now, so now it's... Now it's, uh, games do this style as a stylistic choice. Oh, you were talking about making drinks. Oh, no, can't do that. I think that's a, I don't know if you can do that here. I think you need to get a license or something. I thought you were saying homebrew, like gaming. See, that's how much of a nerd I am. I would have never thought about the, the normal thing. Ah, uh, did you make beer? Yeah, I think here you need a license to do that, but also I wouldn't trust myself. And I live in an apartment, so, like, to do that I would have to get a bunch of permission, which pass. <laughs> Nerd. Crap! <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I'll proudly say that. I'm a nerd. America allows 200 gallons a year for homebrew. That's nice. I think it's here it's not of a quantity thing, it's more of a safety thing. But it's not the- it's not necessarily the license to, like, make a certain quantity, it's more a license to just be able to do it, period. Nothing wrong with nerds? Not anymore, no. Growing up was a different story. Just having a computer. Oh, look at this fucking nerd. Who uses computers? Computers are just a fad. Go outside and play sport. <laughs> hey, you're tall. Go play basketball. Isn't your family from Central America? I thought you guys were good at soccer. Go play soccer. Your cousin has a strong left foot. You're a lefty. To be fair, I do have a strong left foot, but like... That's the stuff that I used to get as a kid. From older relatives that just were like, How come you're into computers? How come you're into video games?
<laughs> you like anime? Cartoons are for kids. Why are you still watching cartoons? Games are for babies. Why you play baby game and not play games like Call of Duty? You're such a loser. Why do you play games so much? Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go back to playing Candy Crush. And obsess over, like, I don't know, the Kardashians slash sports teams. It's usually one or the other. I'm in the death cycle on a game for children. Yeah, I know. Believe me, it, it bothers me. It does. It really does. Like, every time I die, just a part of me dies a little as well. Watch nothing but animated stuff. Then again, nowadays, they got good animated shit, like Castlevania on Netflix. I mean, I don't know, like... The way it is, is just, at the end of the day, right, we do the we do the things we do, we enjoy the things we do, because it, at the end of the day, it causes a reaction in our brain that makes it happy. And that reaction is no different than someone enjoying sports. Or whatever the hell, like, they're telling us to go do instead. It's just like... It's the same fundamental thing we're looking for, just... Let people have fun, let people enjoy what they want to enjoy. And just stop trying to shit on people's parade. It's not even it's like, it's entertainment, it's human connection as well, right? The dopamine. Oh, I'm gonna lose it. The stand! I keep dying. Ah. Whatever, whatever works for you, whatever floats your boat, I am happy that it floats your boat. And if we can find some common ground, then all the better. But we don't need to find that common ground, that's fine. We can still be friends, yo. I just find it funny that, like, the people that used to call me nerd, like, in, in, in the negative way, there are people that said it in a positive way, but, like, the negative ones, dude, they'd be into stuff like fantasy football, I'm like, I'm sorry, that's, like, fucking nerdy as shit, like, the, you have to learn so much to be able to do that properly, that, that is nerdy as fuck. Oh, but because it's sports? Because it's sports, you get a pass, really? I don't know stats for shit. I just like playing the the dinosaur game where you have to save the baby and not die. I don't need to learn numbers. Fantasy football is D and D for jocks. That is so true. It's okay, like, that's less and less of a thing now. It's still a thing, but at least as a populace... Yeah. I feel like I was just born ten years too early, you know? <laughs> that's how it feels sometimes. Did 
Did I ever see American Beauty with Kevin Spacey? I have not. We liked anime before it was cool. <laughs> ah, the hipster approach. The funny thing is, is like, there's some TV shows that would have- <laughs> Why am I dying to the spot constantly? There are some TV shows that were anime and they wouldn't have known it. Ugh. Well, the stream is as advertised. I said I was going to get salty, but I didn't think... I completely forgot about this stage. I was hyper-focused on the skiing stage, which I did get done. Just... Yeah. It's about a sexually frustrated suburban father has a midlife crisis after becoming frustrated with his daughter's best friend. What? You like Ghibli movies, but you had no idea they were anime. Yeah, that's the thing. There were some things that, you know, you probably would have watched and didn't realize it was anime. By the way, have people seen the new Ghibli movie? I highly recommend it. The Boy and the Heron? Or... Yeah. I watched, um, the dub, because went with my niece. It has Willem Dafoe <laughs> as, as a main character. I mean, it's pretty good. You want to see it? It's, it's a good watch. I liked it. Though, you know... One of those things that just raises questions about... Okay, I'm just worried that I just missed something. Not to spoil anything, but just... You, th you think about what, it's, what the movie is trying to say, I guess, and just the plot as a whole. Afterwards, you're like, oh, wait a minute. I guess this... this... this was a thing. Hmm. Princess Mononoke. I haven't seen that one. I haven't seen a lot of them, to, to be fair. I like Kyle's Moving Castle. That was good. I know it's all on Netflix. Hang on. Don't watch gro I can't hang on. Don't watch Grave of the Fireflies, I wanna keep dry cheeks. Okay, noted. I mean <laughs> I hate the stage. <sighs> Grant me strength. We, we're nearly at the end. There's just five coins and one more flower. Vicky's delivery service was not a favorite. Yeah. I've been so tempted to cancel Netflix, but... If they do one more price rise, I, I'll do it. But maybe before doing that, I should just go through those movies and watch most of them. Oh no. No! <laughs> I fucked up the last one. Uh, my mental state is very fragile right now. I'm definitely gonna play Animal Crossing later. 
<laughs> just balance, balance this out today. Just balance out this morning with Animal Crossing later. Berserk is good. I heard Berserk is good. My brother keeps talking up Berserk. I'm going through One Piece at the moment. I'm nearly up to date. And then once that's up to date, I gotta do Demon Slayer. Like, get up to date with that. Oh, thank Christ. Get out of here. But then after that, I guess, like, I can check something new out. I try not to... ...go too back and forth between things. Like, if I start something new, I try to stick through it. You got Dinkum today, gotta give it a try, since you can't play Animal Crossing. I've been meaning to give that game a try. I have it, I just haven't played it yet. I'll take it. It's not quite like, you know, the same charm as Animal Crossing, but it has the same ideas. There's just no cute animals. And I guess you're in Australia. Or Australia-like place. It's interesting, the name of that game. Because an expression that Aussies have is, like, fair dinkum. Which is kind of like, um, how do I explain it? Like, you're telling someone a story, and then, you know, it comes to a part that's like... I don't know, difficult to believe. It's kind of just like, oh, really? Like, bad income? Maybe I might be explaining it incorrectly, but... You heard Dinkum is super grindy. Dude, Animal Crossing is super grindy. I've spent three months going for three flower colors. <laughs> like, I think people that play those games are okay with that. I have spent three months trying to get the color purple. <laughs> yes, it, it can be grindy. I think, yeah, you can be okay with that. And I, and I bet, I bet when I check today, I still won't have the color purple. Yeah, it's one of those things, to each their own. I think, if you're not used to it, definitely it's worth mentioning, yeah, if you haven't played these kind of games before, they can be super grindy. But if you're into those kind of games, it shouldn't sway you. What is a stage? Okay, I feel like I've missed a whole section now. Something I also realized is this year I haven't really... I usually have a game that I'm hitting my head against, you know, like something difficult. But this year I haven't really done that, have I? I'm trying I'm trying to think of like what's the most difficult game I've played this year. And I'm drawing a blank, like I don't think I've played anything difficult this year. Usually there's one thing every year where it's like it causes suffering. Like sure risk of rain is difficult. 
the risk of random turns, but it's it's not something I've been struggling on. I think I've I've bricked this, by the way. Oh, okay. I see it goes around. All right, I got it now. So I got um, there's a, a steam sale on, and against my better judgment, I bought stuff. I have a literal box of games that are at my feet of stuff that I need to get through. Um, but I got Blasphemous, I got Crash Bandicoot, the trilogy, and four. I got the Spyro trilogy because it all came together. Um, but Blasphemous is hard, so both of them. What about Nier Automata? I should get through that. <laughs> I haven't played it. But, um... Yeah, I feel bad. Nick gifted that, that to me, like, a couple years back, but it's just... I haven't found the space for it. I will, I will eventually. Like, that's the thing. There are some games where I'm just several years late on, and then I, I eventually do play them. Why, why can't I get through this? Okay, there we go. But, um, I mean, there's God of War Ragnarok. The Last of Us Part 2 for the PS5 is coming out in the first two weeks of January. I'm debating on getting it. So people did enjoy the first game. Right, look, people had asked for years for me to play that thing, and just got delayed for so many reasons. The biggest one being in 2020. I was gonna play it that year, and then, well, something happened that, um, I just didn't really wanna have something that hit that close to home. Like, humanity going down as a result of something. Like, uh, I think I was good. The second one isn't as good. I mean, I've heard mixed things. It just depends on your tastes. And story, like, how you interpret it, slash receive it. I know nothing of it, for the record. But, I've heard both sides. Just in terms of vague descriptions. I mean, I'll make up my own minds. Like, it doesn't have to be a heavy hitter. At the end of the day, I think if people were to watch, it'd be because I suck at games that involve stealth. I don't get scared that easy. I think a lot of my stuff is just because I mess up. Oh, you can't kill these dudes? Here you were playing Plague Inc. during the pandemic. I mean, the pandemic hit people differently. For context, I mean, for me, I live in Melbourne, and Melbourne had the most number of days that a city was locked down for. And our restrictions were... The furthest you could travel away from home was a mile, roughly. Or five kilometers, like, I'll say both. Five kilometers, because that's what it actually was. For an hour at most. And unless you were an essential worker, you were not allowed outside. Five lockdowns is the longest one lasted five, five whole months. So almost half a half a year in conditions like that. And, you know, but it can do things to you <laughs> from 
a mental state point of view and also just... Yeah, man, it, it just sucked overall. So, having something where, like... Because I didn't know anything about the game. I was worried it was going to be one of those things where the reason things were happening in that game was just because of... Just similar things, you know what I mean? Like... People not taking care. Because heaven forbid something inconvenience like capitalism. Or their, like... Their lives. So I just didn't want to take... I didn't want to take the risk where I would play that game and just... It's not that I would say something, it'd be more like you you could tell that I wasn't going to have a good time. Or wasn't having a good time. So I felt like it was probably best to leave that game until things cleared up. I mean, having played it now, I probably could have played it in 2020 and been fine, but... I should probably get away from these. really don't remember this. You're a hermit by choice, only notice a difference when you try to buy toilet paper. I mean, I don't go out too much either, but it was more of a, like, some something as simple as, like, every now and then, I do like going for a walk. Right? Getting out. Or sometimes just catching up with someone, right? Like, when I want to be social, I'll be social. Or just... I don't know, hanging out with my brothers. I didn't see my brothers for like almost a year. It's like no matter how much of a hermit one might be, at the end of the day, at some point you do have some form of thing that you want to do out in the outside world or just some connection from a human side, and you're just unable to do it. But also, just, you know, just people talking about it as well was frustrating. Like, yeah. The I did my research crowd. I read this I read this post on Facebook, yeah. Wait, you have to go to store ten stores before you found toilet paper. Once that stuff was back and still he bought a big box of them. You know what was funny about that entire situation? It happened in Australia first, and I remember just... Everyone was like, why are Australians panicking over toilet paper? You guys are crazy. <laughs> and then, like a month later, it happened everywhere else. It was pretty, pretty amusing. It sucked, though, like... Just people buying things in fear. They would buy more than they needed and that just messed up everything. Or worse, like... People scalping toilet paper. Like, that was a thing. It's just... How people are is like, they can take something as serious as, like, oh, a pandemic, and still try to make money off it. It was toilet paper, and it was, at, at a certain point, like, pasta was very hard to find as well. 
the stuff that was uh that had a good shelf life like people just went ballistic buying it They said weren't even allowed to be on the road unless it was absolutely necessary, so people were buying monster supplies. Yeah, I got that. It was the same here. Like, I... A month of supply is fine to buy in advance for, but there were people that were buying, like, as if they were going to spend a whole year. That's what I'm referring to. There's a difference between buying stuff for, like, a couple of months, that's fine, that's within reason, given the circumstances. But there were people that were, like, buying as if, oh, they're not going to see the light of day for a year. feel bad for people who had babies. Yeah, I know a couple that did and it sucked for them. The other thing we have in Australia is like baby formula is um is one of those things where they have restrict stores put restrictions on how much you buy. Because there was this market that was forming where a bunch of people were buying baby formula and then sending it back over to another country because the baby formula they sell over there is just inferior. But imagine that plus a pandemic. Wait. Your former boss bought a pallet worth of food and was bragging about it. Ugh. That's the sort of stuff that I'm talking about when it comes to not reasonable. And what contributed to the whole, like, stuff running out thing. Man, these, these past couple of stages have been, um, pretty, pretty miss. I think I went past it again. Oh, I needed to go in the middle. No? What? Where is this exit? I think I need to hit this. But it doesn't seem I can hit it from off screen. Okay, hang on. Need to pay attention to what I'm doing for a minute. What? That was weird. I'm missing one flower now. Okay, I got it. There it is. So now the bridge is the. Okay, okay. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. We got it. Round of applause. <laughs> Figured it out. I was I was running around in circles because I was just talking. Okay, but like. Uh oh. 
Uh, I'm missing a flower. Why? Why? Why I missed fla Why am I missing a flower? <laughs> Oh, you've got to be kidding. They put that pit there for, for that exact reason. <sighs> how... How is a halfway mark placed where you only have two coins? That's not... Well, it's a checkpoint. I have to collect all 18. The remaining. Okay, well... I mean, I didn't use the key, so... Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm going to assume everything's fine here. Alright, so there has to be a, a spot that I didn't visit. What? Really? There we go. Alright, 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 alright. The thing is, there's a way to cheese this. Like, you shoot an egg down and then you just hit it on the way down. But alright. I need to find where... How would you even get th that? Oh, I'm out of eggs. say something out of place. <laughs> Just let me know. I don't want the stage to go on for much longer. Wonder if it's just like at the top of one of these. I guess I would have made a sound if it was. Such a weird enemy. Oh, all right, there's the flower. All right, all right, all right. Oh, well, there you go. Okay, I got the flower. Mystery solved. Okay. All right, now just finish the stage like normal. Isn't there a key here? I thought there was a key on this one. Maybe I'm losing my mind. Alright, it doesn't matter. I've been in this stage for too long. <laughs> Can you get cabin fever from, like, a, a stage? Uh-oh. 
Hopefully that wasn't anything important. Okay, so I'm going to try and do this. It's like... It's very hard to pull off, but I'm going to try. Nah. <laughs> Almost. But okay. Do it the long way. After a while, it feels like Groundhog Day. It certainly feels that way. I'm at, I'm at least playing it. Sometimes I'll worry just <laughs> when I go around in circles. Watching it's probably not the best experience. I just need one red egg just to get my health back. There we go. Well, I guess it was lenient enough to just... Oh, I'll see it was health. Okay, don't jump too high. There we go. So it's just a central door now, and then we're good. Oh. I will finish this game today. That was the last one, I think, right? Okay, so just four coins left. We're done! I just need to do this thing now. There was a key. <sighs> all right, all right, all right, all right. One more, one more lap, one more lap. One more lap. One more lap. Also kind of getting hungry. <laughs> that might be contributing to me not um, doing this correctly. Oh, you've got to be kidding. It resets it. Why? <laughs> Why would you do that? I need to go get some groceries. But also figure out what to do for food. I ate chicken nuggets yesterday, and uh, I feel like today I should do something with a little more health. Be healthy. A little more health. I don't even know what I want to say. Like, just... Like a meal that would, uh... I guess, if you were to say a grown man is eating it, 
you'd be like, oh yes, that sounds like a meal a grown man would have. I should make chili. Never have. It's not really a thing here. I usually do like stir fries and stuff and pasta. If I wasn't so lazy, I'd go get the flour for taco stuff. Well, to make tortillas, but it's boxing day today. I'm not going anywhere near here. You're all offended? Why? It's like, it's a regional thing. It's like PB&J. That's like, that's just all you Americans there. No one else eats PB and J. I think there are things that are conceptually similar to chili, but it's just not quite the same. Okay. I'm going for the 20 right away because I want I want that. Like that is Love Tacos, me too. How dare the rest of the world not enjoy the things America enjoys. I thought it was that one. The thing is, even if I wanted to, like, go make it, I don't think I can, because jelly is, like, different to what we have here. You enjoy food from other countries? Well, I, I said I didn't... It's not like... Okay. I said I haven't had it, and it's not a thing here. I didn't say I, that I didn't like it. There's a difference. Including that salty concoction Australia has. Well, that's Vegemite. Like, that's a meme. That's a meme thing. You haven't tried Australian food. If Vegemite is like your bar of measure, that's just like, yeah, it's a meme. But with PB and J, because jelly is manufactured in a certain way, we don't really do that here. Like we do preserves, which are more like jam. Like I, I looked into it, it, it is def it is definitely different. So I'd have to go to like a specialty store that specifically sells jelly from America to be able to do it. I'm fine. I'm not much of a sweet tooth. That's the other thing. But chili is something I could make, and I'm sure it's something I would enjoy. It's the ingredients are fine. I was just saying it's not really a thing people make here. You had kangaroo. That's good. Kangaroo is nice. I mean, the quintessential, like, Australian thing is, that they have, is the meat pie. It's like, just pot pie. It's very small, it's... Hand. Just fits in the palm of your hand. And you just put some ketchup on it. And there's just so many different varieties. It's like your standard... Beef, then there's like a steak one, there's steak and black pepper, there's ones with mushrooms, I'm dead, maybe not. And then there's like uh there's like fusion ones, so they have like a Thai green curry one, which is pretty damn good. How much do you think it would 
cost to send jelly over there. Shipping to Australia is expensive. Generally speaking, it's like... Because there's a minimum cost, but... The rule of thumb is whatever you paid for the item, it's generally what you paid and then as a minimum $20 or um, like double what you paid effectively because it goes by weight. There are lighter items you can send which is 10 to 15 US shipping, but generally speaking it's expensive to ship shit here. I looked getting into a P.O. box and just... Australia Post is just, uh... They're not good. To get something, um, like an eighth... Like a, P a, dis a box that's the size of a sheet of paper, in terms of dimensions, and then the depth is... I don't know what that would be, but effectively something that could fit like a package, a small package that's like the size of a piece of paper. They ask for almost $500 a year for that. The only way I could do it is like if I took, str if I took streaming seriously and tried to make this a thing where it was like my livelihood and then I would have set up, you know, a business with it, then yeah, I could claim that on tax and that'd be no big deal. It's fine. But because this is just a hobby, it's just one of those things where like, I'd have to pay a lot for the PO box and then you guys would just pay a lot for the shipping and I just, I just feel bad. I do appreciate the sentiment a lot, because it's like very humbling that people would want to send me a random dickhead on the internet stuff, but, you know. I just live in a very inconvenient part of the world. <laughs> I'm dead. So shipping prices is the reason you don't sell to Australia. Yeah. It's understandable. It's just one of those things that it... I hate talking about it because I don't want to make it sound like I need to have this measure of, like, how many people would send me stuff. But it... This, if it was something like 200 a year, that's not bad. That, that's only, like, what? It's less than 10 a month. That's fine. But they're asking for 500 a year. And it's just... That's a lot. That's just, just never, it's a never say never sort of thing. It's like, I'm not saying I'll never do it, but like have a PO box, but it's one of those things that it's just not going to happen whilst this is a hobby or I'm just like, you know, relatively small street. Oh, geez, that almost fell on my head. Okay, I'm dead. Jelly is pretty easy to make. Yeah. I mean... Small apartment, don't have much space. But like, the kitchen's tiny. But also, I can be lazy in that regard. Like, if it doesn't pique my interest too much, I won't go to the effort. I'm not much of a sweet tooth, that's the thing. It's like, if I make it, I've probably won't have much myself, to be honest. Like, I might eat it once, just to say I've tried it, and then I probably wouldn't eat it. 
for a long time. Like, I'm more of a savory snack person. If I'm having something sweet, generally speaking, it'll be, like, with coffee in the morning or something. And even then, it's just, like, maybe once a month at most. So what? Why? Why is this here? I think I just need to trust that this is going to be fine and not panic. Yeah, there we go. But see, there's this whole upper part. Oh, okay. Nope, I have to die. There's something. Send a can of Baja Blast. <laughs> But see, what you pay to send that can of Baja Blast, you could buy like a whole, a whole like maybe 12 pack of it. with other uh, snacks you're just adding you're just adding more weight then it's gonna cost even more Baja Blast intrigues me and I find it weird that Taco Bell opened in Australia without it that's just that seems to be the appeal of it you shipped a bunch of candy and snacks to Australia, and that was alone $100 to ship. Wasn't even that heavy. Yep. Thank you for saying that. Because <laughs> now, there's, there's a measure. There's some evidence of it. Like, I'm not, exa I'm not exaggerating. It is, it is a lot. Like... What? Then what? Okay, whatever. It's a lot. But again, I'm very appreciative that people would think of me and want to send me stuff. Just currently it's not feasible for me to do that. It's not. I'm not saying it wouldn't be in future, but just the size of streamer that I am right now. I can't justify, like, getting a P.O. box. I screwed myself. <laughs> uh, I'm so close to just the end of this. One of the top streamers I watch. I really do appreciate that a lot. I do. I'm not sure how much it is there, but you can buy the tiniest PO box for five dollars a month, and anything that doesn't fit, they just hold in the back. I don't think they do that here. I can, I'll, I'll get the exact prices, but like, it's. I saw something that just the size of a sheet of paper, a box that big. 
Something that could fit like a small package just the size of a sheet of paper. It was almost $500 a year. If memory serves me correctly. It was like $570 or $470 something. I'll look it up again. Just, yeah. That's what I mean. If it was like... Between two to three hundred dollars a year, that'd be fine. It's like, whatever. That's only... Ten-ish dollars a month. That's fine. I can do that. But this is basically twenty-something dollars a month. For a box that's pretty restrictive in size as well, it's like... If someone wants to send me a snack box, they probably wouldn't be able to do it because it's just, it'd be too big for the P.O. box. It, yeah, that's what I mean. I, I don't want to say, I don't want to put it in those words, but ex exactly, Star. Like, if it, I'm not receiving stuff regularly, it's not worth it. And the fact that it's costing people a lot to even get stuff to me. Yeah. That's all. But I didn't I didn't want to make it sound like, oh well I need you know, people need to send me shit, otherwise it's not worth it. I don't wanna sound ungrateful. <laughs> it's just That's just the sad reality of it. I don't know why it's so expensive. I think everyone here understands, but it's also if people are watching the VOD later. It's just, I want to give the context from where I'm coming from. Australia is just too inconvenient, the place. Well, okay, for, if, you're, if you're a streamer, let's put it that way. Uh oh. Well, that's gone. Shipping to Oz Canada was wild and taxes on receive things. I mean, I know the taxes when I buy stuff from overseas is like, I don't pay tax unless it's over a certain threshold and value. I forget what it is these days, but it's, it's pretty lenient. Like, no one's gonna send me... ...hundreds of dollars of stuff in value, so... But that being said, I don't know if it's on the other end. I haven't even thought about that. Never know they could. Well, if they send something cut felt like a retro game that's worth a lot, then yeah, that'll that'll screw the taxes over a little bit. The tech tax on imports was wild. And doing a bit of more IRL stuff, had to claim things with gifts or other parts just to get around the fees. Yeah, you do. I mean, this thing that I got, this upscaler, the taxes on it were like $200, which sucked, but, you know, I wanted this thing. But then there's other stuff I ordered that, like, just didn't get taxed at all. Like some of the consoles I bought. The analog pocket didn't get taxed. Doesn't Australia have a list of banned games? Uh, not really. It got famous for banning Left 4 Dead 2. But the whole thing stemmed from just we don't have an adult rating, or didn't have an adult rating at the time. 
I'd argue Germany has more banned games than Australia. The most recent one was RimWorld, just because it used a lot of drugs, and it's just... I think it's unbanned now, but it was just annoying, because we went through that whole thing of fighting for, like, an adult rating for games, just so stuff like that wouldn't happen. I just hate it how the argument is always, well, what if a child got their hands on that game? It's like, well... What if... What do you mean? It's like, there's so many things that a child can get their hands on, on the internet. <laughs> like... At a certain point, I'm sorry, but the onus is on the parents to, like, take interest in what their children are doing. Anyway, it's fine. Like, generally speaking, it's okay. It's rare that a game gets banned nowadays. Like, what if a car got- what if a child got behind the wheel of a car? Are we gonna ban cars? No, we expect the parent to make sure that their child doesn't get behind the wheel of a fucking car. <laughs> Just like... Hey, make sure they're not playing games they shouldn't be playing, or buying games they shouldn't be buying. Like, that's as simple as that. Germany is still a bit wild with game and rating, but it has not really hit the news in a few years. I know it's more commonplace for things to get censored in Germany. Hey, the one thing you can thank Australia for is just how easy it is to get refunds on Steam now compared to how it used to be. Because the Australian government sued Valve for, like, s Consumer laws in Australia are very strict in the sense that, like, it's very easy to get a refund here. Like, we have a lot of consumer protection. So Valve was... tried to argue for the longest time that digital goods shouldn't be refundable. Um, the Australian government took them to court over it, and they lost. So... They, uh, made it, yeah, like, zero friction to get refunds in Australia, and they kind of just were worried that Europe and other places would, because it set a legal precedent, they were like, alright, we just need to make refunds better in general on Steam, because, yeah. Here's how it is in Australia, right? Like, let's say there's a laptop. A laptop that costs $500, right? The lap the $500 laptop comes with one year warranty. Pretty standard. Then you have Apple selling a laptop that is... Pretty much the same specs. What the hell? Pretty much the same specs. It's just, obviously, it's an Apple laptop. It costs $1,500. That also comes with one year warranty. So the law here is like... You would expect that the $1,500 laptop would last longer than the $500 laptop, regardless of warranty length. So if the $1,500 laptop busts just shortly after a year, you can make Apple fix it by saying, well, reasonable expectation, Australian consumer law, blah blah blah, and yeah, they'll fix the laptop out of warranty for free. Because we just have this thing of... There's other stuff as well, but it's just reasonable expectation of products and how, lo how long they last. If something is being marketed as a premium thing, or like the best in its category, then you would expect that it lasts more on average than the things that don't market themselves as that. So it's pretty nice here. We get, we get some things wrong, but there's stuff that we get right, like that. Just, hey, something breaks down. Did I pay a lot for it? I should get it, be able to get it fixed. Hmm. 
Uh, yeah, and the whole planned obsolescence thing, it just it just counters that completely. Um, but the reason a lot of these companies comply is like if the Australian government sues you, and a lot of the time these companies lose the case, by the way. So the punishment is a massive fine, but then in some cases they will force you the force the company to take out a newspaper ad that says they deceived consumers. Or in the in the extreme cases they have to put a banner on the Australian web version of their website that says, hey, we deceived consumers, and this is what happened. So no one wants to mess with that. I mean, I have 99 lives. Yeah, I mean, it's, Australia's a small market at the end of the day, but, you know. We are here at last. this again. Okay. I think this game has like one of the best finales for a Super Nintendo game. I love the fight. And the music as well is so good. You'll see. It's such an epic ending. If you haven't seen it before, I mean... There are people that are still discovering these games for the first time. Oh yeah, this, this shit. Okay. I don't remember which number was the best, so... <laughs> it's just... I, I chose okay. I think I have to do every door, actually. Ah. Almost. It's okay, like, worst comes to worst, I can just use the, uh, the star item. Just replenish my health that way. So here's something I didn't know as a kid. You can do this, and then it shoots all the eggs at once. I just discovered that on this playthrough. I love how games have that sort of thing. It's like unexplained things that if you discover them, you know. It's sort of stuff that you would share on the playground. I, for I forgot about these shy guys. Oh, man. Because they have... They have melon seeds in them. They're so weird. Face the other way. There we go. We still have one more stage after this. I also have eggnog that I need to finish. 
<laughs> still have, um, like a bottle. I got this bottle that, like, has... It's not alcoholic, but it says it's rum flavored, so I don't understand how that works, but... It's flavored after a famous Australian rum maker. I, I found... I, I don't mind it. I think the drink is fine. It's just, it's pretty rich. I was trying to find words to describe it, but sometimes it's, it's almost like drinking ice cream, and I feel like... Can't have that much. Well, I'll have to figure out something to do with it. Word of advice, don't try to make pancakes with it. It doesn't work. <laughs> ah, haha. Oh, that was such a disaster. Why? Okay, hold on, don't. Just calm down. Not over yet. Rum flavor is a combination of charred bell and molasses spices, I guess. I just love how Kamek attacks you with geometry. I'm gonna have to use an item. I'm gonna have to use the item at the end. Assuming I get everything. What am I missing? I'm missing three coins, one flower, so... Two coins, one... Oh, this is how you do it. Right, okay. I remember now. You just keep running into him and he just vanishes. We have this checkpoint now, now I have everything. Okay. I love this fight. You are not welcome here, Yoshi. Hand over the baby. <laughs> oh dear, what to do, young master Bowser? Wait. Kamek, it's too noisy in here. I want to go sweepy by. Huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. What kind of green donkey is that? Looks like fun. Me want to ride. Mine, mine, mine. I forgot how to hit him. Oh yeah, right, that. Okay, no, I do the same thing. Really? There we go. Alright, that's the end of the game. Just kidding. Yoshi, why'd you do this? Young master, let me help you. Oh, it's happening off screen. Oops.
It's such a cool fight. This works. <laughs> I need to aim better. There we go. I mean, the fact that this was like semi 3D was pretty cool. Too high. Everything is fine. <laughs> Just don't panic. Oh shit, that may have been too high as well. Oh no. Can she please? Why is it aiming so. Oh, I fucked it. Dead. I want to get the 100%. I let it get too close. It's okay. Like, at least it starts from here. I wonder if you can chain it. I think I only had like a couple more hits and I would have beat him. <laughs> it's just, I missed, I threw too high and then he got too close. in this. The first time I saw this, it blew my mind. I was like, man, it's a hell of a last fight. Uh-oh. 
Place it, place it, place it. Thank you. Okay. Everything's fine. <laughs> Just keep nailing them. Just a rhythm thing. <laughs> I mean, I like this fight better than the last fight of Super Mario World. Cut day, you, it's not fair, you're such a meanie. Someday we'll be back, you'll see. Rawr. Yeah, I mean, there's a sequel on the DS. I might look into getting it. <laughs> and we rescue Ouija. Oh yeah, Yoshi, lay the egg. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you don't know what that's in reference to, that's when I played Superstar Saga. There's a there's a part there's a part where you have to give Yoshi some fruit and then they lay an egg, and Luigi's reaction to Yoshi laying an egg is Oh yeah. That'll forever be stuck in my mind now. Just Luigi's into eggs. Oh, I forgot to read the thing. Can you play as Luigi now? Nah, I mean... I heard that the DS version, um... That's the mechanic in it. Depending on the baby you carry on your back, it, you get different powers or something. So, that's why I'm intrigued. This one, it's just Luigi was captured and you just have to rescue Luigi and that's it. But in the other one, it's like Baby Luigi, Baby Mario, Baby Wario, and Baby Peach, I think. And you, you alternate babies, which is kind of cool. Luigi's a freak. A little bit. Alright, well, we're not done yet. There's still one more stage to go. Because uh, you get it for 100%ing the world, so there's still one more stage to go. But I mean, yeah, visually, this game was awesome. Just... That was Christmas for me one year, I got the game. And yeah, you know, just fond memories of it. It's one of my favorites. I think it's aged pretty well, it's like... Still pretty playable. There is a Game Boy Advance version, I haven't checked it out, but supposedly there's like extra stages in it. So, maybe at some point. It's the same with the Donkey Kong series. They got Game Boy Advance ports, and there were differences. The biggest one being 3 had just completely different soundtrack and a bunch of other extra things. I just I haven't been to a flea market in a while. That's usually where I find stuff. But it's getting harder. It's just everyone's on eBay, and they just go with eBay prices. Ebay just, well, just ruined things a little when it came to finding just cheap games at flea markets. More playable than most Bethesda games that are only five years old. Bethesda just has the track record of just, their games are always buggy, but what carries them is just how in-depth they are. That was broken a bit with 76. Ever heard of Mario Payne? I have a friend that had that. Played. It's pretty cool, that game. Just a shame they didn't do more with the mouse. There was supposed to be some other game that was going to come out for it, but it never did. Just, I imagine that'd be a hard game to play now, because most of them, the mice could would be very crusty at this point. I mean, that's just, that's just, that's just what happens, that's what happens to mice, generally speaking, after a few years, they do get crusty. Yeah, 
you can even cleaning them on the regular. Like, I try to go over mine with a cotton swab and, like, isopropyl every now and then. But it's just, eventually they end up crusty. Must be nice to be able to get things with cheap shipping. Although I guess if I buy stuff from Australia, it's usually free. Look, it's Mario's parents. Oh, no, I'm not talking about, like, cleaning the ball, the ball with isopropyl. It's the, the exterior, to be clear. I wasn't talking- I don't want to say crusty balls, but I guess I just did, huh? Okay, I gotta reset it, because this is one of these games... ...where, um, yeah, the, it doesn't auto-reset. You got to see the boot screen for the Super NT. Okay. Better crusty than sweaty. I mean, sweaty, they're both uncomfortable, but crusty, it depends if it's itchy. Whereas in sweaty, if you're experiencing sweaty, then there's probably other problems going on at that point. <laughs> I don't know. I guess crusty would be like a hygiene thing. Why, why did we land on this conversation? Jeez. Oh, I have so many things being said out of context. It's fine. I put most of them in the end of your highlight reel. <laughs> the clips added up to like about two hours, man. It's so much. I've played so many games this year. Probably the most out of any year. I didn't even get get to put something from every game, which is what I wanted to do originally, but it's just, no. It would have taken too long. But I got some of the Out of Context clips in there. Some of which I really don't remember what I was talking about, which is concerning. Baby, no. Okay, hold on. I right, get get egg. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Ah, da, 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 da. <laughs> I mean, thirteen dollars for Mario Paint. Pretty decent. I can't imagine Mario Paint's like heavily sought after anyway. People do have good memories of that game. It's one of those games that I think would have gotten people into graphic design. We used to have this, um, this CD for our computer that was like Crayola Art Studio. That definitely piqued my interest in computers. Mario Paint was the one that introduced music clip art things. Yeah, it was. For consoles at the very least. There were other stuff on PC that did something similar. It had minigames as well, like the fly swatting thing. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, bulls. Crusty mouse bulls. <laughs> I gotta die. That's a red coin. Oh, this it, uh, it didn't remember that I had 99 lives. Now I only have... I only have two. I also think the gimmick with this stage is it doesn't have a checkpoint, if I'm not mistaken. So this is all like, you have to do the whole thing in one go. Which is fine, this is the last stage being a challenge stage, I don't mind that. Yeah, the Crayola Art Studio was like one of the few computer games. It's not even a game that we could run. Our computer was really bad. Well, at a certain point it was a good computer, but because we had it for so long, it became a bad computer. But we had Timon and Pumbaa's Jungle Games. Man. You don't, you don't understand how good that game was. It had uh, a game that was very similar to Puyo. And years later, when I, I saw Puyo for the first time, I was like, Oh, that's Timon and Pumbaa's Bug Drop. Wait, so it wasn't a red coin? Well, I just died for no reason then. Sim Earth was a thing too. I, I just haven't tried any of those kind of games. There's a game that I've that's come out recently that I've heard that's good called Against the Storm. It's in early access, but it's one of those building games, but it's a roguelike as well, so. I'll probably check it out at some point. I've played The Sims. Oh, that was fun. Do you wanna, if you've play, if you're into The Sims and wanna laugh, just go watch me. Go watch the VOD of like me playing The Sims 2. Like I tried to be clever with it. It's, I made a house and the, I had to adjust the house constantly because I kept forgetting things that were essential. Like, at the start, I was wondering why all my characters were acting weird. Turns out, they need a bathroom. So they were all just running outside because I hadn't placed a bathroom. Stuff like that. But also, I loosely designed my sim- ah! Around video game characters. So, like, I painted a cat yellow. To make the cat Pikachu. Um, I think I did a good job. <laughs> I don't, but you know, the way you paint the cat in the game. Yeah. Fun, fun experience. But I was horrendous at it. I'm much better at designing stuff in Animal Crossing. And Terraria and uh, Stardew. Oh. 
Oh, there's, there's another ring. Okay, good. I thought that wasn't... Get away. I thought that wasn't checkpoints in this. I don't like that the music has shifted. What What is it going to do to me? Okay. <laughs> I'm not dead. <laughs> I thought it was an auto-scroller for a sec. <laughs> okay, so this is just be annoying, huh? like the dev's idea of just a joke. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge an egg. <laughs> oh, that, that scene is so painful. Just the wrench connecting. I feel it every time. I take a page from Dragon Ball Bridge, just like dodge. That's the earlier stuff, I guess. Okay. No. Oh, it's going back down. <laughs> I have to do this again. Some Japanese like, games make fun of you for 100 percenting or making your life difficult for the lols. Yeah. I mean, you look at some of their game shows, that's... their brand is just human suffering. What is this? I see I see an, a cursor appearing on me. It's like something's aiming for me. What is aiming for me? I don't remember the stage. What? But I saw a cursor like something was aiming for me. Oh, what have I done? I swear I'm not imagining it. Like, I, I saw a cursor. Uh-oh. What is this? Wait, why, why did I go under? Oh. Alright, we're done. <laughs> sure. Hooray! <laughs> oh, 
Though I technically didn't finish this for Christmas, it's close enough. Hey, it didn't do the thing. It didn't do the reveal. I guess it doesn't do it for the final world. Alright, that's it. It's still Christmas there? Alright, well, I guess I finished it on the American time zone then. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's the playthrough of Yoshi's Island and the close to the annual Christmas tradition of me playing a game from childhood. Just to chill over Christmas. It was fun. We'll see what we do next year. Um, Again, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end, first of all. But also, sorry for, like, the shenanigans with the VODs. That's just technical issues. Hopefully they're resolved. Um, yeah. <laughs> they should all be back up now, hopefully. Um, right, the thing that you're supposed to say at the end of every video. Uh, click buttons, like, like button and stuff, and thanks. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, bye YouTube.